Breaking news, Nigerias. Niger Delta agitators launch operation Onga Lion. Cancel all ceasefire agreements. My people, my people, this Nabli channel, if you just they join us for the first time, make you kindly subscribe to this channel and make you not forget to raise them for us. So. The coalition of Niger Delta agitators has canceled the ceasefire it declared several years ago and declared what it called Operation Onga Lion over the present economic challenges Nigerians, especially the people of the Niger Delta, are facing. The coalition, they can announce their decision in a statement issued that on Saturday after their emergency meeting, where they review the state of the nation, especially as it be said, they affect Nigeria, so Niger Delta people and the present economic challenges in the country. In the statement so, obtained by Sahara reporters, so, the coalition, the council, it has also demanded that the group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NLPCL, Mele Cario and his team say made a probe demo and made them made them to give account for the missing 164 billion naira and year after sacked. The coalition can say they don't observe the present corruption in the country and it don't reach its peak especially in the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, NLPCL, Power Sector, Education, and Steel. They can say why did they wait and that they hope for a change or in attitude from the people saddled with the responsibilities in the aforementioned ministry and agencies. It is now obvious that they are not willing to change or turn the part of honor and to be accountable. The coalition can anonymously resolve, as it be say, the con they say, NLPCL, where it be say, now be the current importer of petroleum products in the country. They say it don't fail woefully with high level of corruption and fraud, despite selling fuel for over 700 per liter. They can say the citizen that they subjected to constant torture and suffering before they can buy fuel. We can see say of a truth, a kilogram of cooking gas now over 1,500 naira now, and even kerosene is not no longer affordable by the citizens anymore. Mr. Melakari and his team, they say me they account for the missing. 164 billion naira from the coffers of the NLPCL with immediate effect. And this can only happen when incompetent and wicked people are saddled with responsibilities over the people. The group Condestata said before the appointment of Mr. Mela Kari as the GMD of the NLPC, the Portacot refineries and Wari refineries, you consistent they see they function now and production still they go on at least with the rate of 60%. However, as soon as Mela Karikon took over as GMD of NLPC, you consistent all the refineries, they can they automatically shut down for reasons being known to Ramo and his cohort, despite the billions of Naira budgeted by the federal government every year to revamp and resuscitate these refineries, yet none is working. With this one, now the country talk to make Mela Kari, make he explain the ownership of the refinery in Mata, where his cronies normally exports are crude, refine and import it again to us 
at Aya Koso. He said the reason why they keep sabotaging every effort to make Nigeria's refinery productive. The statement come further noted though, it is with deep sense of responsibility that we state here that NDDC and the Ministry of Niger Data Development and Presidential Amnesty Program is a scam. -o. Conduct pipe, the concept of a truth, in order useful to the people of the Niger Data. The Ministry of Niger Data has not executed any life touching project or intervention in the region why NDDC at the other hand is being used as a conduit pipe by politicians at the detriment of the Niger data people. With this one now, the con they say they clear, say even the road project will be say that they construct that is by NDDC in Niger data region. They can't say in all day standard enough oh, of which you know they usually they last up to three years safe. You can't see with this one said the government make it release funds on to the NDDC and Ministry of Niger Data to fast track development in the Niger Data region. Why they can't they call on the government make it still probe the past board of NDDC and former ministers in the Ministry of Niger Data over failure and fraud. They see they call on the sack of the Minister of State, Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources, I, and the Minister of State, Federal Ministry of Petroleum, Gas, over incompetence and corruption. This is because they have failed Nigerians at this critical time. Seriously, my people, my people, you see this hardship matter where be say a day on grass among the commoners because now that they suffer and pass. Now, as a result of the way our leaders that they handle the money of this nation, or that now the truth, oh, it they very clear. You see, say most of them will be say that they disposition, they just they embezzle money for their future generation. Oh. Now make you see say things, not the balance well, because of a truth. If they remove oil subsidy, and petrol they can't they sell an eye like this. So can make you suppose they in place whereby the commoners they not go to feel the impact of the economic hardship. But you see say because of the set of leaders where we say we get so, that make you see say things, not they make any progress so. So my people, my people. You see, say the Niger Delta now, the coalition, they don't call on the government. Make it take immediate action against all this leader where we say they don't put there. So they take over the petrol and you see, say, at the end, things not still they balance well. So my people, my people, the matter go end for you. This is now Bliss Channel. I bet make on not forget to share, like, and to subscribe to this channel. I salute you now.